Hi everybody, welcome to day 10 of the Songwriting Challenge. My name is Alicia Renice and I'm a singer-songwriter based in the DMV area. For the month of November, I'm going to be offering some songwriting tips for my fellow musicians and songwriters out there. So if you haven't watched the previous videos, please watch them and continue watching them. And hopefully they can help you write better and more authentic songs. So if you would like to join a five-day songwriting challenge, it's free. Feel free to sign up below. Um, in it, you'll get five prompts sent to you every day for songwriting, or one prompt sent to you every day for five days, where you can write a song. It's supposed to help you with procrastination, writer's block, and even, you know, just being discouraged with your songwriting. If you're tired of songwriting, a little inspirational, a little pick-me-up, feel free to join. It's free. You'll also be able to have access to a community of people who are songwriters just like you, looking for encouragement and help and tips in their songwriting journey, okay? So other than that, let's get started with day 10. So today's tip is to keep writing when it feels like it sucks. And again, I'll be doing short videos because I want you all to spend more time actually creating than taking in information and inspiration. Um, if you need to watch this whole thing through, feel free. But I want you to be able to create at the end of this. Like, that's the whole point of all this. So, yes. So we all reach a point in our writing career, whether writing stories or songs or whatever, where we feel like everything sucks. We feel like, what's the point? Why keep writing? Ugh, I'm so inspired. I'm so tired. I'm so, like, discouraged, whatever. And it makes you want to not write any more music. I have been there. A lot of other people have been there. But I'm here to tell you to keep writing even when it sucks. Even when you're uninspired. Even when you don't feel like it. Even though, you know, you feel like you listen to other stuff and other people's stuff is better than yours. Keep writing. The only way to work through discouragement is to keep creating. No one's saying that the song you're going to write when you're uninspired is going to be like the next big thing. But the fact is that you want to create a habit where you keep showing up even when it gets hard, even when it gets dull. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sure the greatest artists don't feel like doing their job every day. Like there are things about their job they don't like, but they have to keep doing it in order to live the lifestyle that they want to. If we only did stuff when we were inspired, we would never get anything done. We would never get anything done. You know, like... Our responsibilities we would forsake, our house would be a mess, our finances would be a mess, our relationships would be a mess, let alone our art. You know what I'm saying? Like, our art is such a is such a big part of our lives, it's a big part of what we do and what we create, and we should honor those gifts by showing up every day even when we don't feel like it. You know, you think about when you're in a relationship with somebody else, you don't always feel lovey-dovey. <laughs> you don't always feel like hanging out. You don't, when a friend calls you and they need, and they need some support and love, you don't always feel like, oh, okay. You know, I feel amazing about hanging out. You Sometimes you feel like, I don't want to. But because you're a good friend to them, you want to keep showing up to them as you can. It's the same way for our art. Our art is a gift from God and we should honor those things. And sometimes that means starting uninspired. That means not having a goal in mind when you're just making up noises and at this point just for the sake of, of doing it. There have been times when I'm creating music and I'm like, all of this sucks. But I keep pressing through it, you know, because... Again, how will I ever get to good music if I just always just do it when I'm inspired and when I'm, you know, whatever. And sometimes taking a break is cool. Like taking a break when you're discouraged and frustrated, do that, right? But then when you come back, maybe you'll be more inspired by that work of art that was draining you and causing you so much discomfort and pain and, oh, you know, that you were just so bent out of shape about, you know? So that's my tip for today is to keep writing even when it sucks because honestly, sometimes it just doesn't suck. You're just not in the right mood right now and you're your worst critic, you know? Or maybe it does suck and that's okay. You don't have to share what sucks. You can just share um, what is what you consider to be ready, right? And not great or perfect, but ready. So there are a bunch of songs on my computer right now that I have not shared that I think sucks, right? But you'll get those five songs soon from the EP that I'm putting out that I think is ready to be put out. Because artwork is never finished. It's just, you just have to walk away from it, right? There's a quote that says it, like, art is never finished. It's just you like, okay, that's enough, I'm done. Same goes for our songwriting, y'all. So yeah, so please keep showing up. Please keep sharing. Please keep writing. Please keep doing it. You never know if that's going to be a well of inspiration for you later. And it's good to build your creative and writing muscle. All right? Because every time it's not going to feel like you want to do it. It's just a part of life. Okay? So until next time, y'all, until tomorrow, feel free to join the five-day songwriting challenge. Again, it's at the link below. And I will talk to y'all soon tomorrow. All right? Bye.